Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today partnering with Figma to help teachers transition from Jamboard to FigJam. In this video, we'll talk about adding images. So in Jamboard in the toolbar, you can click on the images and add an image. Similarly, in FigJam, you can click the plus in the toolbar, click more, and then click media. However, when I add images to Jamboard Jams, I typically do this. I go to my image, I right click, I click copy, I go back to my Jamboard Jam, and there I press Control V to add the image, which I can then move and I can resize, and with the three dots, I can duplicate, delete, and change the order. We have some more features in Fig Jam when we do the same thing. So let's go to that same image, right click, copy image, and then in the Fig Jam, we'll right click to paste. Once we're there, immediately you notice that there is alt text to add a description. So that is so much more valuable, especially for students with screen readers that you can add alt text, you can move, you can resize, you can add this nice little border. See, there's a little border there around it. You can add that just for a nice little piece of flair. And if you want to replace the image right there, you can do that. You also can right click and do all sorts of, you know, bring to the front, send it back, export uh, as a PNG, copy as a PNG, you know, all this good stuff. But the best thing that I love for teaching is that we can crop. So let's crop. And what we're going to do is, you know, we can zoom in on any two people or any part of the image, and we can also do a shape. So I'm going to do a circle. And now that I have that circle, I'm going to zoom in more, zoom in tight, and then zoom in there on them. So now I only have, you know, the boss, the overseer, and the employee. So then we click on that. And there, now that I have just those two, I might ask students, you know, what do you notice? What do you wonder? And then I could then recrop it, go back to the original crop. So now we see more of the image and more of the background and then ask students, what do you notice? What do you wonder? So use that cropping in Fig Jam to really play with images. Before I go, I do wanna shout out my partners at Figma. To get started with FigJam in your classroom, go to figma.com slash education. If you want to check out the amazing FigJam templates for education, go to figma.com slash at education. And if you want to add images to a FigJam right now and play around with all the tools, type figjam.new into your browser. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy transitioning from Jamboard to FigJam.